Hey guys, how's it going? Bud here. Welcome to this third episode of Christmas with Forty Yellow Digital 2013. Um, this is the second episode of the series, and as I said yesterday, in yesterday's episode, I'm going to be doing an After Effects tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create um, something similar to the intro that I um, created, and also, but this is mainly going to be going over just how to create fluid motion in After Effects with shapes. And so we're going to be going over that, and we're just going to create a new solid that we're just going to call square one. And we want this to be sort of like a reddish color there. So that's all good. Now if we click on the square tool up here, or hit Q, and you just start to drag a square, it's not going to be a perfect square, unless you hold shift. That's going to, After Effects is going to create make it um, a perfect square. So now, let's say we just want something like that. Hit V to go back to our normal select tool and um, I'm just gonna double click on this and move the the center of the cube or the this is basically how it rotates it rotates on this little um, crosshair in the middle so I'm gonna move that to roughly the center so now that we have that I'm gonna just scroll out a bit we're gonna click on our square um, press P for position, hold shift, and hit R for rotation. And we're going to start a first position. And I'm going to show you how to do fluid position movements to have the cube uh, move across the screen fluidly and not jerkily and so it doesn't look realistic. So we're going to have it start, um, I'm actually going to move this out to around the one second mark and we're just going to move the cube down here maybe off to the side a bit why not and let's add a little uh, bend in the movement here so as you can see if we preview this now it's a jerky little move it it like stops and starts abruptly so what we can do is we can just um, hold shift and select these two keyframes here right click them go to keyframe assistant and um, you can do a bunch of different things. These are the three main things we're going to be talking about. There's easy ease, easy ease in, and easy ease out. Um, we're just going to be clicking on easy ease, and that will change the look of the keyframes there. And this is essentially just going to make it uh, smooth and fluid. As you can see, it's not jerkily moving. It's very fluid and smooth. Now the next thing that you can do is turn on motion blur and you can do that by going into here, clicking motion blur and applying it on your composition. Now this is just going to allow, as you can see a little bit of blur, it's just going to make it look like it's realistically moving across the screen. And this isn't just useful for creating intros like this, it's also useful for doing um, CGI or any kind of VFX. Often what I'll do is if I have um, something, let's say I'm imitating a blood um, stain on someone's clothes, I'll motion track their clothes and I'll digitally add a blood stain and then I'll add motion blur so when they're moving it looks like it's actually moving with them and being blurred with them. So yeah, if you add motion blur, as you can see it's fluid, smooth, realistic looking motion. Now we're going to be doing some rotation. So let's um, just bring this to when it gets to here, turn on rotation, and we'll go to about the two second mark. We'll just have it spin around one full time here. So now we have it spinning around one full time. And I found with rotation, you don't generally need to use the easy ease. Um, you might want to a little bit, but um, if you add it to both keyframes, it's actually gonna do this weird glitchy thing where the cube looks like it's spinning really fast. So yeah, this is what we have right now and it stops abruptly. Um, motion blur will also help um, with um, showing, or it'll also help with kind of um, creating the uh, fluid motion feel. Sorry, I lost my words there. But right now, as you can see, I added an easy ease into this last keyframe here, and this is going to kind of fluidly stop the um, the uh, rotation so it flies in smoothly and it starts and stops smoothly so yeah that's pretty much it for how to create fluid motion and realistic looking motion using digitally added elements such as this cube 
if you guys want any more tutorials like this, make sure you comment below. I might even do some before Christmas. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Once again, my name is Bud. This is Photo Yellow Digital, and make sure you tune in for tomorrow's episode, Christmas with Photo Yellow Digital, which is probably going to be something, um, something similar to this, uh, but not quite. I'm debating whether I should be doing some uh, Blender 3D motion tracking or doing something in Photoshop. So I'll, I guess you guys will find out tomorrow, and um, yeah, Merry Christmas, have a Happy New Year. Um, I guess that when that comes around, but yeah, whatever. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.